Midnight verdict devastates a Kansas City brother and sister. Their father was murdered, and tonight they believe that the man that they say did it is now walking the streets. 41 Action News anchor Cynthia Newsom has more. No more handcuffs or chains. Brian Middlemoss is a free man. Almost four years after he was charged with murdering AT&T employee Kevin Mashburn in Gladstone, the jury decided Middlemoss is not guilty. We were not expecting this outcome at all. They got they got it wrong. I mean, there's no there's no other way to say it. For one week, prosecutors set the scene of the utility worker doing his job, suddenly getting robbed and so savagely beaten with a crowbar that he died. The suspect's former friend even testified that Middlemoss told him that he did it. The victim's children were sure the jury would send Middlemoss to jail. Instead, the jury set him free. They call it circumstantial evidence or whatever. I mean, I, I get that you might want that hardcore piece of DNA or whatever uh, witness. He loved everybody and he was a hard worker and this, uh, this world that came upon him that night, he had never come across it before. Mashburn's children said the not guilty verdict will never convince them that Middlemoss is innocent. We know what we know and we feel the verdict was wrong, but now it's a it's an unsolved mystery rather than a you know closure. We don't we don't have it. So life, death, taxes, and he's the guy. These are life's great certainties. And tonight, the Mashburn kids are worried that the man they believe killed their father is free to hurt someone else now. Cynthia Newsom, 41 Action News.